no, I wasn't totally shocked or surprised because basically I have seen it coming and been trying to tell everybody around me that it was coming. Merle Hoffman has been on the front lines of the abortion battle for 51 years, even before Roe v. Wade became the law of the land. She's the founder and president of Choices Women's Medical Center in Queens, one of the first abortion clinics in the country. Hoffman is now preparing for the possibility that Roe v. Wade will be overturned. Not all women will be able to come because some will be too poor, some won't even get the information, they won't even have the access to get the referral. Hoffman says she is already seeing more and more out-of-state women arriving at the Queen's facility, specifically from Texas, Ohio, Alabama, and Georgia, where abortion laws are growing more restrictive. And while there are many volunteer groups to help out-of-state patients, they need more funds. All of these uh, wonderful support systems that have been developed by volunteer feminists throughout the years, like the abortion funds and, you know, uh, nonprofits who help women get overnight stays when they come from another state, they will have to raise more money and they'll have to grow with it. Some estimate New York could become the nearest abortion provider for 280,000 women if Roe v. Wade is struck down. Planned Parenthood is adding more telehealth and online appointments, hiring patient navigators and expanding access in the southern tier. Nothing will stop abortion. The question here is, Will women die from illegal, from illegal abortions or will they be able to have it as a safe medical procedure? That's really the question.